Hey everybody and welcome to the channel again. Thank you for uh, subscribing, liking, leaving comments and all that because it, it actually promotes and helps me knowing that the channel is being useful for something. In this particular video we're going to be covering deep space, the stuttering issue. Not just the, um, the performance at 4K up to this point in 2024. You know, a year after we found out that deep space stuttering in the beginning of 2023 uh, that's the stuttering is still happening it's happening on linux it's happening on windows it's happening in basically anything where this game is basically in uh, the developers apparently don't really care nor does ea or at least they haven't showed that because we're still having stuttering issues a year later um, with that said i started playing with what could possibly help in lowering the amount of stuttering uh, because I can tell you that for example in the in the intro of the game when you're about to arrive in the, in the whole uh, Ishimura whatever the name of the thing is it lags when you actually uh, get out of the, the the ship it lags when you open the first door it lags actually when you open almost all the doors stutters like it's having a nervous breakdown or something um, and then it comes back with a normal um, uh, performance. I'll leave Mango HUD at the top so you can see when it actually happens is stuttering. But I was able to find not a solution but a workaround to lower the amount of stuttering. The solution is related to the hertz of the of the monitor, the V-Sync inside the game. And certain other things that I saw there that I, I basically spent I don't know we're talking between exiting the game entering the game testing for probably five to fifty minutes every time I did a change on the settings we're talking almost a day or two days something like that of just doing that because I wanted to find out if there was something I've been reading on reddit I've been reading on the steam community I've been a lot of weird suggestions that none of them actually work for me okay so I'm making this video as proof of the ones that actually did work for me or worked 99% of the time okay so the first thing that I had to do I had to is even though my monitor can run 144 and every other game runs perfectly here even in auto I had to leave it at 60 I had to okay it does not matter that the stuttering does not matter if you change the resolution at all I actually had stuttering where's the here at 1024 by 768 okay I also tested 1920 by 1080 I also tested which one was the other one that I tested ah this one 1280 by 1024 this one also I tested it they're all having the same issue they, they, they all had the stutter um, the more that I went from 144, there were some cases that people recommended, no, go to 120. No, that, that, that didn't fix the stuttering. I went to 60 and actually fixed most of the stutter. And then I tested other things, but I, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'll be showing you this video at 4k with 60, which eventually should stutter a lot. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Uh, you can actually see here that I have a 4090 and all the, all the information about it blah 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 plus the gigabyte monitor that I'm using all that anyway there's no special um, launch options it's just the configuration that I have I, I'm gonna share this with everybody but it's just the settings I have for Mongo HUD basically all this is doing is the thing that you're about to see and the game will run that everybody knows from furl and that's pretty much it so let's start the game and I'm gonna show you how I'm being playing it uh, actually, I'm going to start from the beginning of the game. I want you to be able to see from the beginning if you see stuttering. And you'll be able to analyze the stuttering at the top. Sadly, this 60 FPS is not because the 49 on Linux is achieving 60 max. It's because I have to put VSync. Let me, there we go. Let me lower the sound here for everything. 
um, I had to put VSync, basically disable, I mean, disable the ability to not have VSync. Here you can see, um, I lower the refresh rate from the 60 to 24. I enable vertical sync. Basically, I lower the crap out of this. Can't lower that more. Um, do know that even though I have a refresh rate at 24, the vertical sync it's enabled, we're still seeing 60. Like this game doesn't really care about what the hell I, I put there. These are just the settings for the game internally. I also enable this dynamic resolution scaling. I had to lower this uh, for the ref so it adapts to the refresh rate. Like it's directly related to the refresh rate. It does not matter what anti-aliasing I put here. It does not matter if I lower this a lot. I actually had it in the lowest settings for everything in the lowest, well, in my case, uh, uh, 1028 by 700 and it still was stuttering at that resolution with everything low so it, it really didn't care about the, the the settings there but it did work the moment that I had the sync enable oh motion blur there were some people recommending motion blur to be disabled I disable it because for some for some reason I'm I get dizzy that's in this particular game um, th that might also be helping there, but dynamic resolution scale is enabled, 25 there, um, vsync here, and I lower this to the minimum, and it really doesn't matter what resolution you use or the rest of the settings that you put there, okay? Um, let's start then from the get-go. Uh, let me put it as the usual, usual one there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And you're gonna see the 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 60 that's fixed over there. It actually, without V sync, it was actually getting 110, around 100, above 100. When you get out of the ship, when you are right in in the Ishimura, the first area there, um, and that's it. But I want you to visually see it to understand this. Do remember that before I was not able to get a um, on 4K. I mean, a stable FPS of 60 a year ago. So Proton Experimental and Proton 8, wow, amazing. And DXVK, amazing. VKD 3 3D, amazing. Like all the progress, wine, all that progress, just amazing in the last year alone. Okay, if you recall, I was supposed to have a lot of stuttering when we arrived here. Uh, it didn't happen. You can see that that V-Sync with a 24 hertz over there and the 60 on the actual NVIDIA control panel. It's it's helping. Let's put it like that. I'm hesitant to say this is the final solution, but at least I was able to find a combination between several settings that it actually helped solve the, the problem. If you're able to test this on your own computer, uh, give it to others that actually need the, the, the stuttering solution, if it works, of course. Uh, we're going to be doing this video a little bit longer than usual. Why? Because it's being used as proof of concept uh, in regards to the settings, okay? Someone pick up the damn phone. What the hell is that? Uh, sounds like they're 
Okay, the game is about to start for real. I'm gonna up the volume and I won't be talking, just playing so you can actually diagnose and check out the FPS at the top versus the stuttering that you'll be able to record live. Call him the stabilizer, Isaac. Better always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Comptor down. We lost a port booster. We've got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity course of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Must have heard that landing. Be proud, Chen. You gotta see her in one piece. Johnson might disagree. What? You're off in about the first round tonight. I wouldn't mind something to steady my nerves, especially on CEC staff. You see anyone in flight control? No, nobody. Hmm. At least we didn't take out the sign. Uh, just in case when we actually get here if you recall when we actually get here it, it lags immediately rig synced Collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. I can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? Someone left in a hurry. Where's the security detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster, no power to the elevator. You got it. That security console's still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. There's something on the floor here. Is that? Isaac, I need that damage report. Not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. 
could do that kind of damage to a planet. Right? Okay. That is the power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be... Hospital anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Yeah, you'll get those elevators. There's something in here with us. Up there! Security request retrieved. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! Isaac. Oh my God, Isaac. You made it. Just. They're everywhere. Chad. Is he? He's gone. Nothing I can do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw. Some of them are wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system. And the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon.
Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. Did that even kill them? Or did they just stop moving? Uh, sorry, maybe I didn't show this before the the settings. Oh, I did. You got ray tracing there too. Basically, the whole thing. Just in case I didn't show it.
longer. Hearing a lot of movement. I'm halfway done. Found a data board. Just gotta move the tram. Okay, Daniels, watch that door. <laughs> Reinstalled. Error. Damage tram on track. Contact maintenance immediately. malfunction between you and the maintenance bay. Can you fix it? No, but I found a stasis module. It's on faster than... I got it.
Message retrieved. Vets into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the track. Over 15 gridlock, guess who they're calling? Temple here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. I keep hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one can be. Prepare systems no? online. I know. Cooling system reinitialized. Warning. Autoloader malfunction. Please contact a repair technician. Control. Should be able to call you a ride to the bridge. Good. Just hurry. I keep hearing noises right under our feet. Something at the roof, but it seems operational. 
quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? You and Johnson fix up the Kellyan. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, so what you saw is basically the the effect of having lower in the heart, the, the hertz. Uh, again, here and inside the game, as you saw there, plus the dynamic resolution thingy. That's the setup that I ended up having and I was able to play for a while. Uh, well, here you can see four hours in the last Sunday, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. So I hope the video helps somebody and you can test it yourself and let me know. Let me know how it goes. Thank you.